What's up YouTube, and welcome to another music reaction with me, Dyke Martinell. So today we'll be checking out a band that honestly I'd never heard of until about a week ago, and now I just keep hearing their name. Uh, Imperial Circus Dead Decadence, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the band, yes it is. Um, and I've heard so much good stuff um, saying that like, you know, it's the best album, you know, brutal, uh, just lots of compliments, which is nice. Um, so I know nothing about this band other than what I've just googled uh, and what people have been saying. Uh, so I know they're a Japanese, I'm assuming death metal band. Um, I believe they're from Fukuoka. Uh, what did it say? I did check this up a couple seconds ago and I forget shit really, really quick. Okay, Imperial Circus Dead Decadence is a Dojin melodic death metal band formed in Fukuoka, Japan in 2007. Then it tells you the members, and I'm not going to rattle them off, because I've still got a cold and talking is hard. Anyway, um, so the song we're checking out today, so the title is in kanji, and I can't read kanji except for like Watashi, uh, or um, Mizu. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I quickly checked, I think it translates to Goku. Um, what does Goku mean though? I know he, he, you know, he's a character, but... I'm sure it means something. I know Gohan means rice, I think, or steamed rice or something. Anyway, I'm getting on a tangent here. Anyway, um, keen to check this out. But before we check this out, if you do feel like you want to, uh, you know, subscribe, hit the bell, and put a like on my face. Uh, no, that like should be here. Wait, wait, there we go. On my face. Um, yeah. I'm running out of jokes for this part. So, um, like this video if you like it. I really, really like this. All right, it's heavy as fuck, which is great. It's got like, um, you know, apocalyptic symphonic keys in the background, which is great. Uh, it's got some thrashy riffs, which is great. It's got some clean singing that's reminding me of like Durin Gray, uh, which is great. This is great. <laughs> that's all I can say.
I can see what all the hype was about. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying before, this song's just got everything, uh, as in, it's heavy, you know, it's got low vocals, it's got, you know, ear pierce, ah, <laughs> ear piercing, um, you know, high vocals, it, it makes me laugh sometimes that I'm like, uh, you know, when I've thought every type of, like, screechy noise can be made, I hear a new type, uh, developed by someone. Um, but yeah, no, I, I also like that this song also has got a lot of emotion in it, like, I don't, I, I don't speak Japanese, other than I can say, Sagoi, uh, Suki desu, I like this. Um, but yeah, no, I don't speak Japanese, so I have no idea what they're saying. Um, but this song's, you know, got anger, it's got, like, you know, um, vulnerability, um, I don't know, like, you know, I could be completely over-analyzing that. This song could be about a, a you know, a bowl of rice. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's not. But, um, to me it sounds like it's got a whole, like, spectrum of emotion. Um, yeah. Really like this. It was a good, uh, actually it wasn't even a recommendation, I just kept hearing it. I think I've had a few people say you should check it out. I don't think I've had an official person say, Hi Mike, can you check this out? Did I say Mike? I meant Dyke. My name's not Mike. Cheer Creek. Uh, um, yeah, no, that was really good. I like it, i got to check more of this band out. Again, I'm speaking to me instead of you. You. Anyway, if anybody else has a recommendation, hit me up in the comments below. If it's something I've seen, I will let you know. If it's something that I haven't seen, call. I'll try and get to it sometime soon. Bye.